and thank you for joining me in another witch fire video guys in this one i will go through everything here so shout and hermitorium that's like your base where you starting the runs right this is the portal to go and start the maps and we have eastern of the dam scarlet coast and the uh, iron gate castle this is two maps that are going to be added later uh, same as the witch mountain so just the first three you can play now in early access guys but uh, what I wanted to say, we will explain all this. We have this like testing grounds and things like that, apothecary, gnosis, storm, you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna go now and just show you each one. So the first one is like training. If you wanna learn everything, I mean, if you wanna learn about the combat, so tutorial, just start this guy and then follow this line and each of these circles will teach you something, right? You will learn how to fight monsters and things like that. Then the next thing to say, guys, straight uh, across the portal right it's just this so this is to craft the potions healing potions you can have a maximum of 30 and you just find angelica in the world come here and just do this and the maximum is 30 now and that's it you will use them in the world now we are going up this guy is a trader and you can buy here things for this run that you're going now you know what i mean if you buy the keys and you use them there you will not gonna have them anymore same goes with this treasure prism, let's say you can use this at the start of the area and you will see all the chests and all the resources on the map and things like that, So, but you will unlock this guy later once you unlock this here and there's a few doors there but let's go now and just I will show you everything then we're gonna go up the stairs, right? so the next thing we have here is the ascent panel, so it's just basically you're just leveling yourself with the cost of witch fire now you see there is 40,250 for the next level it started I think with around 15,000 or something like that and it's progressively going up each time you do a level it's gonna go like 500 or something more you know what I mean and that's just that so you can just level here that's a sand panel then I will visit this one last but uh, all the other things guys so when you come here to the left then here you can just change gears right so just change your weapons here change your spells change your relics fetish rings then right next to the gear equipment guys to the right is gonna be gear enhancing now i don't have anything to enhance but you will enhance gear here but first what you want to say if i open the gear panel here and now i watch this gun so you can upgrade each gun three times right and uh i mean only you can upgrade both these guns but you cannot upgrade the demonic one it's always gonna be the same like this you don't need to upgrade this one but these weapons here you can upgrade to level three guys if i now scroll here a little bit you see this is level one and then all these are actually level one because i don't play with them this is level two and now i'm waiting to build it to level three but how you can do this then this is the only gun that i raised to level three so far each level will give you one new ability on the weapon and more damage and everything you know what i mean so now for the sniper i need to i did it 82 out of 120 you can see this so it says second mysterium action so i need to increase damage is weighted towards the end of the time window i shot perfectly so i need to do perfect shots you know what i mean 120 times and then when i build the turn mysterium incantation i can upgrade this weapon to level three now the other important thing to say and we are going to this thing finally so this mirror here is actually where you unlock everything guys so here you will unlock new weapons demonic weapon also then spells are unlocking here i don't know what is this because we can't do anything here yet this is still early access so these two we cannot build yet and here second mysterium incantation and the third one so both of these you need to upgrade weapons guys every time right so first one is cost 20 gold and the next one is 40 gold so each gun to be able to upgrade to level 3 you need 60 gold for each one right and then you can build here relics fetishes and rings also and each time you build one right so the cost and the duration will go up right so now the next project is 27 hours or whatever this is and the gold is gonna be a little bit more now it's actually five gold five gold and eight and it started with two or three i don't remember now you know what i mean so and it started from 15 hours now it's 27 so it's gonna take just longer time and a bit more gold and it's worked the same with each one of these only these are always gonna be the same guys so second and the third one is always gonna be 20 and 40 and this time that you see here so if you want to upgrade the gun on level two or three so you need to build second third mysterium incantation and then go 
to the weapon that you want and see what you need to do. So here I did all. I just now need to build third incant incantation and I can upgrade this weapon to level 3. And same goes with everything guys. You always need to do something to be able to upgrade the item like this. So kill with items equipped, right? And then you can upgrade this to 3. Again incantations. So it's always incantations whenever you want to upgrade guys. That's the only thing. Same goes for spells. Everything works the same. So always you need to do something. It's usually killing enemies and then just... With Mysterium's incantations, you can upgrade all these gear and weapons, guys. And uh, you will do all that here, once you have the incantations. So here you unlock all the stuff. We actually have now the light spell, I will do it. Let's see what we're gonna got. So lightning bolt, a lightning bolt that knocks back and shocks enemies, okay. And now when I build it, guys... And now the spell is here. So lightning bolt, I can now equip it. Knock back and shocks enemies and I was using frost cone. Okay, let's I will try and use this a little bit. And then you just change the spell here and it's gonna be on the number F like now. That's okay. And the last thing we have here guys is prophecies. So you will find these prophecies like around the world, usually in dungeons. The main one the main dungeons usually are having these. Each run you will open these arcanas. Once you progress at the map, you will unlock these rows, right? And each one will give you option to choose one out of three to strengthen yourself on only on that run, right? So these arcana then will just help you to get better this, you know what I mean? So this one says, significant decrease the power of awakened arcana. If it's in the sixth or seventh row of arcana, right? Then this one here says... Increase the power of the each arcanum and all three slots are awakened. So it's gonna raise the power and now look at the first one guys. Make the next row one veil all three arcana overriding its prophecy. So when when I grab the second level here, this guy will unlock all three of them. And then because it's all three unlocked, this guy will also activate and it's gonna increase the power of each of these three. You know what I mean? So you can do this with these prophecies. You just need to read what are they doing and then you can mix them here we can add up to seven and that's it about the prophecies guys so you just find them in the world you just add them here and that's it so this is our character spells weapons relic fetish and ring then the arcana so the, we have the map now I explained everything oh yeah except the gnosis so we need to go there now then the other thing guys this is the tunnel you will first pay here some witch fire to unlock this door and then once you go down here in the basement, this is very important thing here. So this book, you need to level this three times again. So the first time it's gonna cost just the witch fire and I think some gold and you don't need to do anything else. Then the second one requires some quest to do again witch fire and gold. And now for the third one you see what I need to do. Again carry witch fire, carry gold and do one of these because I need to complete at least three. And this actually is opening new things on the maps and uh, no, this is actually very, very important guys. And also if you go up here, then you will be on the top of this room, right? And you have here actually a few rooms to unlock with the witch fire and you will just pick some items here. And you will unlock the trader here, he's, he's gonna be here. When you first time come here and unlock this place, the trader will actually gonna be here and then gonna and then he will move outside and this portal i can actually i can't enter it yet so i don't know what this is and uh, that's it from this part here from the gnosis guys you can just jump down here now and get out from this and the last place is actually this right here guys so again Flames, Vestal Flame, you can upgrade this to level 3, but need to be Gnosis level 3 first. And then you grab the Echo's Quest for 1000 Witchfire. And when you enable Echo's Quest, then you will get these Echoes. I need 25 more to be able to upgrade this Vestal Flame to level 3. It's just gonna strengthen and empower the Fallen Prayers, you know what I mean. So you need to pick up the quest for 1000 Witchfire and then just go and do it once you are doing the map, right? And the last thing to say, I said now everything about the map, guys. So training grounds, Gnosis, here you can craft potions. This is the trader that you unlock here in the basement, when you unlock the basement. 
Here you can level yourself self on Ascension Shrine. It costs only the Witch Fire always. Then Vestal Flame. You can do quests to raise the Vestal Flame. Here you can equip and change weapons and the gear. Here you will level up the gears on Mysteria Forge. On the mirror you will unlock everything, all the weapons and all the shit. And here you can just deal with the prophecies, change them and make the build how you want, right? So this is the whole map shrouded in Hermitorium. And once you are set up yourself, so you pick your weapons guys. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to go. Then just go here. And start the map that you want and just go and do it. So, so now last thing to say is for the inventory. So when you go to the inventory guys, you can see here you have bound, unbound items. This is just memorabilia and uh, prophecies, right? But first two are important. So bound means that all this, if you go on the run and if you die, the, you will not lose this. You will always have this with you. And unbound means that when you go on the run and if you die, you will lose all what is here, right? So if you go on a run and die there, you will lose all the items that are here in the unbound section. And then the body will stay there, right? And you can go and pick it up. But you need to go there and pick it up immediately on the next run. You cannot go anywhere else, guys. Remember that, because then the body will disappear. And if you die again, then it will spawn the last body, right? And you will again lose the previous one. So keep that in mind. If you have lots of items here in the unbound section and you died, what I suggest that you immediately prepare yourself in the base and just go again and go straight for that body, pick it up. And then doesn't matter if you die again, you will have all that, you know what I mean, you can pick it up again. You just don't want to die twice in a row because then you will lose everything for from the first body, you know what I mean. So bound, you cannot lose, you can stack these crystals guys, you know what I mean, and then use them when you want to level yourself, so you don't use them every time you come back to base, because then when you dismantle this one, right, like this, so 148, now it's gonna be in unbound here. And if you go with this on the run, you can lose all this. So you don't wanna convert which fire these crystals and then go with that on the run. You want to convert the crystals when you want to level yourself up there. And then you just convert how much you need for that level again. You know what I mean? And that's you that's how you're gonna prevent losing the witch fires on the runs, right? Now, if you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting, guys, and join me in another Witchfire video where we're gonna do something else. Until then, bye, guys.